Lisa. Hey, it's nice to meet ya. TK. TK, y'all, he here. He just walked in the door from work, so he's here. And today, you guys, I'm going to be doing a surf and turf. I just wanted you guys to come along and see how we do our surf and turf. So with our surf and turf, we're going to have shrimp, and we're going to have ribeye steaks, and then we're going to have for the veggie, we're going to have corn on the side. We're going to have corn on the cob, okay? I already pre-did my corn it's been cooking on the cob so that's actually almost done so i'm going to be doing the surf and turf with you guys so with that being said if this is your first time here welcome 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 we're so happy to have you and if you're returning welcome back welcome. and y'all before y'all get to the end of this video please give it the thumbs up okay and also to leave us some comments down below and if you just feeling wonderful and you want to help us out just share us out share us out we trying to build up living life with lisa lisa well all right you guys grab your drink and grab your snack sit back and watch as we create this delicious meal me and mr smith is going to have tonight she gonna make it i'm just sitting there for support <laughs> All right, you guys, I have my ribeye steaks here. As you can see, I have two, one for me and one for Mr. Smith. And um, he's already washed them and cleaned them really, really good for me. So I'm going to use some of this Heinz Worcestershire sauce. And I'm going to, um, I probably need to get my gloves, T. Can you hand me some gloves? Yeah. Because I like to um, make sure that that Worcestershire sauce is down in that meat. So I'm gonna get the gloves on. My hands are clean, but I wanna get the gloves on to, you know, really get deep down in there because I love me a good seasoned steak. What about y'all? Who eats ribeye steak? If you eat ribeye steak, leave it down in the comment section and let me know if you guys eat ribeye steak. Thank you, Mr. Smith. You're welcome. So he gave me the gloves. I'm just gonna slide them on real quick. And thank you all for coming along with us as we cook this surf and turf. Okay, y'all saw me put the Worcestershire sauce on there. So I'm just going to beat it down in there with my hands. Really, really good. And sometimes what we do, when we know what we're going to eat or what we're going to cook, we... um. Like the steak, we'll marinate it overnight. That's so much better. So now I'm gonna flip them over. And I'm gonna do the same thing. Get it down on in there. Get them juices and them flavors on down in that steak, y'all. We used to have this thing that looks like a hammer and it had like, looks like thorns on the back of it. You remember that? Mm -hmm. And we used to beat our meat with that, but with the military moving so much, honey, you lose stuff. I'm gonna put me a little bit more on here. I don't think I put enough on this one. All right, so. I got my Worcestershire sauce beat down in these steaks. I got it beat down, so now I'm going to start putting my dry ingredients on there, which we're going to start with our garlic powder. And I'm not heavy-handed when it comes to seasoning at all. But I do like to taste the flavor. And we're gonna do everything on the first, on the front side, and then we'll flip them over. And this is regular seasonal salt. I'm 
okay next we're gonna go we're gonna add a little bit of this basil just a little bit not a bunch then we got some onion powder One thing I don't like is eating a piece of meat and it's very salty. Then we have some of that Old Bay season I'm gonna add to it. Yep, yeah, mm-hmm, I sure did. I sure am adding Old Bay to my steak. It tastes so good, y'all. Okay, we're gonna flip them over and do the same to the second side. And then Mr. Smith can um, turn the stove on for me and I'll just take this over and I'm going to add my onions and my um, olive oil in my pan. I'm going to add that once I get over to the stove. He's going to turn it on for me. All right, you all, they are good and seasoned. And so this is what they look like. And I want y'all to meet me over to the stove. All right, you all, I'm going to add some minced garlic in my pan here. Just a little bit. Give it a little extra flavor. And then add my oil here. And I think what Mr. Smith does here is he adds butter. Is that true? Mm -hmm. Do you want me to add some butter? I can add some butter on top. Yeah, cook it over there. Okay. All right, so we got our oil and our minced garlic in here. And we're gonna use that minced garlic again with our shrimp. Then the other thing I want to do, you guys, is I'm gonna add my onions. I pre-chopped my onions, so I'm gonna put them in there and let them caramelize a little bit before I add my ribeye steaks. I am gonna add a little bit more oil. And I have this on medium heat. Thank you all oh so much for tuning in to Living Life with Lisa Lisa. Like I said, we're trying to be active over here and try to give Living Life a little bit more love like we give at home because living life has been at a standstill and we know partly it's our fault because we were posting regular and then we didn't post so we're going to get back on track you guys and i know y'all understand All right, I'm ready to add my steaks, you guys. And I'm laying right on, right on top of the onions because I want that on, onion flavor to seep through those steaks. Now I'm going to go back in with my Worcestershire sauce and I'm going to add it to the top. Move those steaks around a little bit with those onions. Onions. And I do add them on the top as well too. Try to get as much flavor in these steaks as possible. 
And I think we got these steaks at a good deal, too. It was like two for what? $13 or something? Yeah. Yeah, so we didn't go in the store to get these, but since they were at a good price, we just scooped them up. All right, you guys, so you can see my steaks are on. And they are cooking pretty good. And I will come back to you when it's time to flip them over. All right, you guys, we're ready to flip these steaks over. Mmm, 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 mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Look at that goodness. Look at that goodness. Mmm, -hmm. Y'all, this gonna be good. They're gonna be really, really good. I'm going to add some Worcestershire sauce on the top. I like me a juicy steak. Okay, I have a question for you guys. Let me know how you like your steak. Well done, medium well, medium rare, or rare? The Smith family. How you like your steak tea? Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. Well done. We like it well done over here. Now I can I can eat it if it's uh medium well. I can still eat it if I see just a little bit of pink. I can still eat it. But I prefer well done. So leave it down in the comment section and let me know. All right, you all, I've switched sides. I'm gonna start on my shrimp. I'm gonna add some of that good old, sorry for the noise. <laughs> some of that good old country crock cro butter. And I'm doing some fantail shrimp here. I'm going to go ahead and add my minced garlic. We're going to let that combine together. Y'all can see over there that corn is cooking up pretty nicely. I'm just going to add the top to that. The butter is melting pretty good. As soon as all my butter has melted, then I will add my shrimp and then I'll add the seasonings that I'm going to use. Okay. Now these are the shrimp and I'm just gonna pour them in there. Mr. Smith washed those already for us. So what I'm doing now is I'm just going to spread them out evenly throughout the pan here. So they can cook evenly. So I'm going to add some Old Bay seasoning here. I'm going to be a little heavy on it. And then I'm going to bring out some of that spice added seafood seasoning, that seafood added from cooking with the Catrins.
and I did a review on their seasoning. I introduced their seasoning on a couple of videos, so y'all can go back and check those out if you don't mind. When they cook a little bit more, I'm going to flip them over and then I'm apply the same seasoning. All right, before I flip the shrimp over, I am going to add some honey to give it that sweet, savory flavor. Sometimes I use um, cooking wine with my shrimp, but... um. I didn't have any, I was out. What are you guys eating on today or tonight? Whenever you're watching this, what are y'all eating on? Leave it down in the comment section for me. So I'm gonna flip them over so I can season them. If y'all hear the noise in the background, that's the dry. I'm doing laundry too. Do you guys do laundry every week? I'm behind this week. I like to start my laundry on Thursday, so I'll be finished before Saturday, so I don't have it to do on the weekend. All right, they're all flipped over. So now I'm going to add the seasoning. See, can you give me some parsley? I want to sprinkle a little bit of parsley on here as well, too. And then I'm going to go in with the honey again. What you do on one side, you got to do it on the other side. All right, we're coming in with some parsley. Just a little bit. All right, you guys. Everything is almost done. I'm going to let these shrimp cook a little bit. Maybe about another two or three minutes because you don't want to overcook them because you don't want them to taste like rubber. You know that's easy to do with seafood with shrimp and lobster. So I'm let them cook for just a couple more minutes and I'll be back. All right, you all, here is our surf and turf meal. There are those succulent shrimp there, you guys, as you can see. And then we have that delicious, well done ribeye steak. And then we have the corn on the cob. And I just uh, put a little bit of parsley down there. I wanted to decorate it with some lemon, but I'm completely out. But this is what it looks like, you guys. And I want to thank you all so, so much for tuning in. I can't do this without you guys, nor Mr. Smith can do this without you guys. We appreciate you all more than you'll ever know. And please don't forget to give us a big thumbs up. For this video, leave us some comments down below. Tell us what you think about the way this surf and turf look. And yeah, we're going to see y'all in the next video because we're about to 
chow down. All right, and if this was your first time here, I hope you like this video enough, whereas you're gonna click on that subscribe button. All right, you all stay safe and be blessed, and we'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye. Lisa, we just living life. We just living life with Lisa, Lisa.